Welcome to SQL Basics Aggregation. You, my friends, are about to climb the aggregation mountain and find a better way to summit. Yeah. Okay. Now, what I want you to see here is that I've got an example for you. It's the aggregation table. There's only three rows in it. It's got three employee IDs, and then it's got a salary of 100,000 another salary of 100,000, and then the last salary is null. Your mission right now, if you decide to accept it, is to answer this query and tell me what the results would be. What is the average salary? What is the count of salary? And what is the count asterisk results going to produce? Good luck. Most people miss this question. I'll bet you nailed it. Now, we're about to learn rule one of aggregation. Aggregates ignore null values. Talk to the hand. That's what the aggregation says to the null. Now, take a look again. We had 100,000 salary, 100,000 salary, and a null salary. So, the average salary, 100,000. If you did the math on it, they'd say 200,000 divided by 2. Average is 100,000. They completely ignore the nulls. Now, when we do a count of salary, we come back with a 2 because, again, we ignored the null salary. And when we do a count asterisk, that counts all of the rows in the table, and that's why we got a 3. If I asked you what the average salary of a professional athlete was, you might say $1 million. And I go, excellent. Only one row came back, one column. You see, aggregation has rule two. It's going to come back in one line. So when we ran our query, we only got one row coming back, and that's the way aggregation is designed. This is a beautiful thing, but it's going to cause a lot of problems, so we're going to work with a lot of great techniques on how to include aggregates in large reports. So this is going to be a very important chapter. Stay with me. Let's just define this right off the bat. There are five aggregates, men, max, average, sum, and count. If you put those in front of another column, it's going to be an aggregation query, and we're going to see that in our next example. Here is an example of all five aggregates in a query. We're going to select min salary, max salary, sum salary, average salary, and a count of asterisk from our employee table. Question for you, how many columns are coming back? How many rows? We had five columns come back, and again, we had one row come back. Now, we've had two rules so far. Aggregates ignore null values, and they're designed to come back in one row. We're going to see something new coming up. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. The next is Query Chameleon, a query tool looking to help your data adapt to any surroundings. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.